Hi folks, Darth Alice from FX Sabres Imperial Royal Arms here again. Wanted to show you my newest creation. This is my Star Killer version 1.2. This one I went through great pains to make this a very simple saber for its next master to own in that the front and rear sections have been designed to be completely removable and detachable. The rear end is standard MHS compatible, so any of your chassis disc, rails, a crystal focus, igniter, any of the sound systems that are out there will fit in it. Currently, it has a Nano Biscotti with a 3.7 volt 18650 flame style truss fire battery. This thing has long run times. Something else I've done too is run a red orange Luxian 3 that's pumping out 1400 milliamps. It's very bright. I've taken and done everything I could to be screen accurate with this thing, including, here, let me kick this light on, including the Graflex I, which you do see on some of the Star Killers that people have built. The Crystal Chamber is reminiscent and also influenced by some of the Master Smith's Roland's work. And I did everything I could to replicate the video game as much as possible with screenshots. You notice in here there's four different support rods and also two red lead wires. Again, when you get up on the, on the game shots, when you're in a Sabre modification menu, that is something that you do see is the four rods. For the hardcore Sabre enthusiasts, I end up using an Isis cut tangerine quartz crystal for the center, but it has a spring-loaded rod going up in the middle of this thing. I did this so you can actually push this rod up, access the Allen head screw which holds this machine control box on, it has two switches with only one wired is which all you need for a nano and it gives you a one the ability to get this saber apart easily and modify it and change it something else that's neat about that too is if you wanted to you can pull the crystal out and change that as well take a look at the front end I've done a lot of work towards machining the front section towards getting a lot of little details in there because I get I wanted to look screen accurate but also just of course be something that any Sith Warrior would be proud to wield or hold on to. The grips took a full day of machining. These are quarter inch and three sixteenths aluminum billet. Custom powder coating. Okay, so none of this is going to wear off like enamel paint. The back end we've got the recharge port and kill key and I'm going to fire this up. I bring Darth Vader's enemies to justice. And as you can see here the uh, custom boot up which is from the Force Unleashed. It's from, I believe it's one of Mad Cow's fonts. And then I have the rest of the font as Vader by Mad Cow. I also have a blue accent LED to light all this up and backlight to show the boards booted and lit. Here we go. And if you can see, I'll turn this light off so maybe you can see the blade flicker. Yeah, here we go. You can see the blade flicker both in the Graflex eye, but you can also see it in the Crystal too. Because I used a real slight setting for a bit of a damaged blade look. The blade plug emitter. And this is uh, influence from Arkham's design. And what we're using again is a face shaver. Now look at this. This is a little sick. I went a little bit beyond and I wanted a crystal. So what I did was take and install a small quartz crystal on the inside of this thing. So it's crystallized blade plug. If you have an emitter that has windows in it, it really looks cool. All right. Some of the swings. Clash. It runs eight swings, eight clashes. And it's fairly loud. Alright, let's put a blade in it. What I have is a 30 inch ultra edge blade, and this is a heavy grade. I like the look because what you have is that core effect. There we go. So there we go, folks. And, of course, the power off. So thank you again for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed.
and have a great day. May the force be with you always. <laughs>